The story begins with another job challenge. You are asked to find the missing person. There is nothing unusual except for the fact this person was an Archmage of the Academy, and as you know, untraceable disappearances are extremely unusual for Archmages. Archmage Crowell conducted his research on infected territory, the area of fierce battles during the last war with the Empire. The amount of magic which fell on this land was so huge that it weakened the barrier that protected us from the Abyss, and many of its inhabitants built this area. You were promised a triple size fee in case of success, and the Archmage's colleagues kindly offered to teleport you directly to your destination. You enter the portal after hesitating for a few moments. So hello everybody, welcome. Now I realized that in the last part I said that I had this game, but I didn't really want to do videos in it because I just wanted to play it. Looked up the achievements in between. It's apparently mostly more of a puzzle game than like an actual like combat action heavy game so I figured why not. Um, uh, we're gonna be going for all the achievements which apparently is too hard. Um, it was like 2.5 out of 10. Oh my god you. Alright. Wow, you fucking cruise when you move forward. I don't. There's something wrong. There's like motion blur or no motion blur or something. So yeah, apparently there is combat at some point. Yes, find out what happened to the archmage. I mean, there's a bunch of these masks around, and I know there's an issue with collecting masks. Oh, just push. I got a red statuette. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, like I said before, I was really interested in playing this game because I knew it was very, and I knew that it was puzzly, um, which is obviously always a good sign for me. All right, let's see. Another statuette. I mean, can I put this? Nope. Statuettes go there. All right. Okay, well you go there, you go there, I'm gonna drop you here. You move really fast forward, but not so much left and right. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I really wanted to play it. I guess just because, like, I, I don't know. It was mainly the art style, in all honesty. Like, just like the little bit that I watched in the trailer didn't necessarily make it look like a good game. Oh, you jump. We can jump. Yeah, you have one up on some other games I've played. Just the fact, although the fact that you may jump the B button is a little weird. But that means that I'll also quite possibly be able to break the game whenever I feel like it. Because jumping does that. All right. So, first puzzle, super easy. Uh, I don't know, I kind of want to take these with me, just because, like, I don't know, that just seems like they might come in handy. They seem like a puzzle thing. Go in there. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of different stuff. I know that, like, these flowers and that, you can craft potions, there's an achievement to craft. There's four different kinds of potions that you need to craft, uh, but I guess you might need recipes for them. And you get like two recipes just from playing the game. And uh, the rat and the other two are missable. There isn't too many. There isn't too much for missable trophies in this game. By the looks of it. Okay, so the lever's broken. Well, we must be getting a sword, because I do believe I have to fight that thing. Well, have to is I guess not worth it. Okay, so it is a puzzle game, but there's very specific things that you can pick up and interact with. So that's honestly good. Because um, like in some games like Amnesia and that, you have like where you can like open every cupboard, you can pick up like every item basically, but like 99.9% .9 of them do absolutely nothing for you. Uh, start the fire requires six firewood, which I do not have. Do have a carrot though. So do I have an inventory? I do not seem to. Ah, there it is. Grief preparation of chemical potions, just an ordinary carrot, and then find out what happens. Okay, that's my journal. 
Okay, so I can't open that because it's rusted, and I do believe that one of the potions we'll get later is actually a rust potion. Uh, I'm assuming I'm going to have to bust through that. Oh, do we got a sword? Boosh. All right. The Fort Terrace Key. That's actually an achievement to find that. And I do believe one of our... Ooh. It's a health potion and a ruby, which we use to buy stuff. Not only do we need it to buy stuff, apparently we also need it to, uh... Like, interact with stuff. Uh, it seems that the abandoned port will serve me as an excellent shelter for the near future. Moreover, I even managed to open the passage to my workplace. The main thing is not to forget the correct sequence of runes, otherwise I'll have to start all over again. Okay. So yeah, that's my journal, so... Now we just need to go and find these runes. Runes. Uh, there's a chest in there. Can I... Okay. Stone mask. One of ten, I think. There's ten of them, I do believe. So how much can I break? Probably not a huge amount. If I had to guess. Uh, I imagine that'll probably be fairly obvious at least. Okay, now that's the door I came in, correct? Yes. Like that. Alright. Arrows. Uh, that one. Boosh. Uh, backwards R. Boop. Then boop, boop, boop. Makes sense that that would be the, uh, the last one, since it's the one in front of the door. Hey, and now we have our own workshop. Hey, it's another one of those blocks. Picture looks unfinished. Okay, maybe we'll try and finish it. Hello, Howl. Can I break you? No. Man, so many of these masks everywhere. Uh, I can't find Fort Terrace Key anywhere. I must have dropped it again when I was working on my last picture. I would never have thought that such a harmless hobby could cause so much inconvenience. Just dropped it working on his last picture. Alright, well this, um, it's not finished, therefore this would be what he was working on, right? Uh, that could mean that it's in here. Can I, no? And a bit more. You don't know any recipes, K. Okay. Already. I know that I don't know anything. You don't have to point it out and be mean. Oh. I do now. A blue flower and a witch mushroom. I don't have a witch mushroom, but I uh, do have a blue flower, so once I find that mushroom, I can craft that, and then I should be able to go into the hole there. Okay, so we throw blocks at circles. I guess? I don't, is that what that's telling me to do right there? I mean, the fact that there's two blocks here as well is very curious to me. No? Oh, up here. Okay. Ah, there's the key. Boop. Got the key. Uh, I imagine one of these is probably the witch mushroom. This thing? No, that looks like a bowl of bread, but I'll get it anyway. Why not? Nope, just a bowl. Is that a witch mushroom? Nope. Uh, nothing. Okay, I have a feeling that none of the rest of these are important. I also missed that horribly. But I'm going to knock them out anyway. Oof, just barely got that one. Alright. You can still hear, like, pinging. Um, nothing else. Okay, time to go then. We got the Terrace Key. Which is up here. Maybe we'll get our Witch Mushroom there. Oh. What the fuck you... Oh, I got the Storage Key. 
right. Um, haven't found a storage thing yet. Okay, well, let's leave. We got our sword now, and we got some other stuff. Once we find that mushroom, we'll come back to open the door. Or to open that other, that, um, the hatch there that was in there. I'm also only assuming that the lever is to advance. For all I know, we need to advance. Well, I guess I was going to say, I mean, the lever, fixing that lever to go through that gate, it's got to be, like, the, the main goal. We may need to go downstairs in order to, uh, to get the, uh, something else that we need. Like, maybe the lever is downstairs or something. What is this? Forest berries, okay. sparkles here. I need to turn up my sensitivity just a little bit. Well, that's not really much better. Okay, so I can go out this way as well. I want to check out this house first. See what's in here. Oh, what do we got? More rubies. Now I'm curious if there's like exactly enough rubies to buy everything, because that is another achievement. A pan. Oh, there's the broken lever. Okay, so we don't need in the basement for that. Okay. So was that the storage? I don't, I'm honestly not sure. I mean, it definitely looked like a storage room. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Once we get out of here, I'll check my inventory and see if I still have it. Or have the storage key because it didn't I don't know like it didn't say anything it just said interact come on uh, no I don't see the key in there anymore so, okay, so that check okay so that's got to be the terrace that we uh, need the key for uh, we got those, got that. We can now fix that. Um, okay, so there we go. Replace the lever. Okay. So now do we go that way or do we go the other way? Because, I mean, that way we had to find the lever to repair it, but this way the lever was already in it. Go this way first, because there's no enemy this way, and we could have immediately came here before we even got our sword. Now that doesn't mean that there isn't going to be enemies or something out here, but uh, brushwood, not really firewood, but uh, note the gap. It seems that its last owner disappeared exactly through this gap after the end of the battle. As a cursory inspection showed, it's necessary to find and activate six navigation crystals to open it safely. These crystals were usually placed underground, not far from the place of the gap, so I think I can easily find them. Okay. So we need to open this up by activating navigation crystals that are underground in the area. Now, I'm assuming that by in the area. Excellent fertile land. Alright, so we'll need seeds or something for that. So I'm assuming by in the area, that's just like in this game. Like, we're not going to need, like, basically my, it's telling my character that he won't need to leave somewhere to do it. Uh, well, we aren't crossing. Well, maybe we could jump up there. Brushwood. Hopefully that can be used as firewood. Over here. No, I'm assuming then that we end up on that side some other way and we cut down that tree and it'll make a... Oops. And it will make like a bridge across that we get through. Alright, so I was right. This side was... Uh, not necessarily meant to come to first, but the easier of the two. Not that I doubt that this one's going to be hard either, but... Alright, let's do it! 
Aha. Aha. Do I have a stamina bar that I'm... Oh, can I get him? Yeah, suck it. First battle, achievement unlocked. Defeat the first enemy, the first of a million. I'm kidding. I doubt that there's that many. Uh, no idea what this is, but it's better not to touch it. You know what? I'm going to trust that. It's a big tentacle monster. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm going to not fight that. Okay, so we got three wood now. We need six to start the fire. Oh, maximum health increase. Cool. Did not give me a full health bar, though. Gave me an empty health bar, but whatever. I also don't know how to use my health potion. I'm really hoping that if I... That, like, if I'm getting my ass beat, it'll come up on there. What is that? No, that's a wood mushroom, not a witch mushroom. I honestly kind of thought that killing this guy would give me a... Uh... I need to back up further than is actually necessary to not take damage. There we go. Yeah, I really thought that these guys might drop it. I mean, they're all gooey, and are we really at the other side of that already? Yep, we sure are. Can I just push it over? Old tree. Not be difficult to cut down. Alright, so I need a... Uh, I need an... Well, uh, maybe. Hang on. Yeah, I need an axe then. I was gonna say, the fact that they let me interact with it uh, another game that just writes nonsense on their sign. Because they're too lazy to just put English. Alright, well that's creepy. Wait, that's... No, that was just the tree. Okay. Inspect the tree. And I don't find anything. Alright, well, I mean, there was definitely someone in there. Maybe I can cut that down as well when I get my axe. Just bust into their house like, you! Get the fuck out. What? Oh, hello, weird thing. Oh, you have a ranged attack. Ow. Oh, and it poisons me or it goos me, goops me up. How rude. Can I pick up the shield? No? No shield for me? Okay. Fine. Curious as what the other potion I can make is there that's in my inventory since I uh, don't seem to have any spells or anything. And like my dash there just seems to be on a cooldown, not a. Nothing else. Another ruby, another health potion, back to the tree. Butterflies, we've got this temple. Uh, it's a dead end. That looks suspicious. Just looks like the road leads to it. But okay, so I'm guessing our next one is in there. But we do have more than enough wood now. Now, granted, that says brushwood and not firewood. So, oh, is this the witch mushroom? It is. We'll go back then. And what is this? We can interact. That's going to be okay. So we'll go back and clear out as much as we can out of this area before we move on to what I can only assume will be this game's version of Dungeons. Now, the combat is fairly meh, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, from the little bit that I read of it, there's really not too much to the combat. Now, I'm not even sure if, like, the enemies will respawn. Like, it could be even, like, that much little to the combat where like you kill it once and it's gone which if it is mainly focused around the puzzles that may very well be okay so we need to do the witch mushroom and then we can see if we can light the fire in the kitchen okay start the fire put the pan okay and i don't have anything to cook on it though Thought maybe I could cook the carrot, but I guess not. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Go this way, so I can make a potion. Anti-rust. 
go. I'm still curious about those blocks. There's like a bunch of holes at the entrance that had two of them in it. So maybe uh, I don't know. Remove the rust. I, I, I don't know. Does it look any different? I honestly can't tell. Another health potion and ruby. Oh, another one of those fuckers. Ah, oh, got me again. God, I just move so slowly every way except for forward. Like, the dude fucking sprints forward, but then just does nothing anywhere else. Okay, I got a rabbit trap. Okay, maybe that's what I'll do for the rabbit. Creatures of the Abyss can barely take on a variety of forms, so some of them are tangled tentacles, uh, growing out of the ground several times higher than human growth. These creatures are deadly dangerous, but what is surprisingly absolutely do not tolerate meat subjected to heat treatment. This is real poison for them, so I need to cook a rabbit and feed it to the tentacles. Gotcha. I will say, this game, it plays like one of those point-and-click adventures, like the puzzles do, but they actually give you... Like, they actually tell you what you're supposed to do with items. Alright. So, I need to go and find a place to put this rabbit trap. Maybe that's what's in the tree. I can place the rabbit trap there, but... I don't know why there'd be a rabbit in a tree. Do rabbits live in trees? I know that they can, like, dig underneath them. But, like, they don't live, like, in the trees, do they? Oh, well. well. Ooh. Okay. So we got. Yeah, the question is, is which way? Well, first I want to go this way and see did the slime monster reappear? It did not. Good, good. Okay, so we're gonna take a trip actually over to that tree. I'm actually gonna. Okay, so why is your health potion? Why would be the health potion? All right. Uh, inspect the tree. Find a one. Okay. If I can't find a place to put this rabbit trap over here, I mean, I don't see any rabbits, but that doesn't necessarily mean they aren't. There, you know. So let's check over here. I mean, maybe it has something to do with this cave. Like, maybe when I interact with it, it's not going to tell me to. Yeah, that rabbit is hiding in the depths of the hole. Set a trap. Trap is set. Put the carrot. Back up. Maybe. Oh, but it bites you. Okay. That makes sense. Alright, so that's a rabbit hole here. It's a big ass rabbit hole. Now, what do I have to do to actually get the rabbit out? Like, do I just have to, like, leave? Yep, there it goes. Heard it go off, so there, that's that. Yup. There you go, I now have raw meat. Apparently that trap absolutely murdered and butchered the rabbit when I uh, caught it. So, wow, good for me. That is a hell of a trap. I don't know why I'm going through this creepy tree again. Uh, what I am curious about, though, with that tree is, like... If I came at it... Like, if I went up and around and came at it from behind, would that make a difference? I somehow doubt it. Curious. Now, this is the hole we came through, right? Yeah. Oh, don't know where I'm going. Need the house over here. Okay. Hopefully, I don't need six more firewood. Although, we got seven, which leads me to believe I will need more wood at some point. Okay. Fry the meat. Now we have fried meat. I'm assuming since that's still there, we're going to continue to cook stuff throughout this game. Or at least every now and then. Uh, 
All right. Very weird to get rid of tentacle monsters from the abyss. I need to slap them with some hot meat. Like, very, very weird weakness they seem to have. I do like that the enemies don't respawn. I will say that. That is nice. Throw the fried meat at it. I'd really love to see that animation. But sure enough, there it goes. I guess it's dead. I mean, it looks like it can come back up at any point. And I just like, no, okay, well, whatever. Guess we're clear. Oh, there's another spitter and a goop monster. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Get one at a time. And there we go. There's that one. Now, just to make sure that it's just... No. As long as I keep my stick, like... Oops. Not, like... Like, directly left or right, I can... Get around them fairly easily. Oh, we need some green statuettes this time, I guess. I'm going to assume then, based on this building, that those are going to be the dungeons. Because I know that I need to go through a few of those. Oh, I can destroy this one. And another health stone. More maximum health. Fuck yeah. Itchy like though. So we need some more statuettes. We still have yet to do a dungeon. I imagine that probably, honestly, won't make too much of a difference. Uh, it's fragile enough to blow up. Well, the fact that you specified blow up leads me to believe that that's what we'll be doing. Uh, the amount of magic contained in these small statuettes is simply amazing. Even being buried in the ground, the statuettes literally burn the grass growing above them, making it turn black and gradually die. Okay, so I'm going to need a shovel and to dig up. Oh, maybe I don't need a shovel. But I am going to need to dig up some of these, I guess. Uh, which leads me to believe that I'll need a shovel. Let me pop that one in there, because I highly don't need it. Yeah, I'll have to look for yeah, black and ground like that, but need a shovel. Okay, oh, that was where the health statue, health thing, is it a statue? Health shrine? I don't know, it's not very shrine-like. Uh, whatever. Oh, there's an axe. Oh, something here. Oof. Get it? God, I hope so. God, it really slows you down hard. Okay. You will not pass here. Alright, well, I mean, I don't know why you gave me the interact point. Uh, the rope decayed a long time ago. Okay, so I'll need a rope and probably a bucket of some kind as well. I also think I saw... Oh, that was just the interact with that again. Okay. That's all there is there. Some more firewood. Some more. Dig up. Oh, what is that? Oh, the Fort Terrace key. Oh, yeah. So that means that there should be a painting here, right? Oh, when he was working on his last painting. It said that the painting wasn't finished. We had to find the place in the painting to know where the key was. Gotcha. Uh, track. No clue as to that. As of yet, maybe in the painting or something we'll get a clue to it. Uh, we've got some more vines here that we can chop through. Some berries. And a gun! Oh, is that bullets then? That number, that three that I have, that's probably bullets. Still no shovel, but we did get an axe, which will let us shoot some, not shoot some stuff, will let us chop that one tree. Health potion ruby. For the amount of combat there is, there seems to be a lot of health potions. Alright, and then we need to fix these things, which 
don't think that we have... No, we don't have anything yet to do with these. Now, maybe if I went back and looked at the painting, it would be different. But I feel like if we're going to solve that, it's going to be... Like, we're going to have a note that will allow us to solve it, you know? I don't think that they're going to make us remember something for that long, because I don't know, it just doesn't seem like something this game would particularly do. Is that? Oh, I missed a flower. Okay, so whether, I don't think this axe will get us a, uh, will get us a shovel, but you never know. Uh, we also need to blow that up. I'm not, I'm going to assume that the pistol is not what it means by that. Uh, it's also weird that, like, I'm presumably an adventurer of some kind who uh, got sent out on this mission to find this guy, but did not bring a weapon. So it was an odd choice. Cut down the tree. Okay, yeah, that gives us a bridge there for some reason. Now, I do want to check to see if I can just, like, chop into this tree. Inspect the tree. Okay, no. Okay, so I still can't do anything with that then. Um, now that this tree is cut down, does that do anything for me? Like, all it does is make a path. Oh. Oh, this is not... Oh, this is a different tree. That makes more sense. Uh... And then usually strong... Yeah, you know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with I shouldn't step on those. Just uh just yes. What's this one? Uh passage magical creatures. The favorite habitat of leprechauns is trunks and old trees. These creatures are usually harmless to humans, moreover, they are ready to sell the items they found for rubies. Alright. Interact. No, that's a door symbol. Alright, so that's a leprechaun, and I'm going to assume that now that we have the uh uh, now that I know this is a different area. Oh, another stone mask. Nice. Very nice. Um, now that we have that note, I'm going to assume that we can then, or that we can now use our rubies in order to, like, get him to come out. Offer a ruby. And now he won't run away. Magic beans. Oh, we need those. Uh, an old map and a health potion. Oh, I don't have enough for the magic beans. Uh, I do have enough for the old map, do I? but I don't have a shovel yet, and I have to assume that it's something I have to dig up. But I know where the magic beans go, and I'm assuming that I'm, I'm only one or two rubies shy, so I'll leave you for now. In fact, yes, if I didn't have to give him the ruby, the ruby for him to come out, I think we would have been good to go. So then this here is the first, what I'm assuming is dungeon. Uh, so we'll see how these work. Okay, so light the fires to get the, to open the door. Simple enough. Now, the fact that we have a gun, is that going to change this dungeon at all? Wow, that gun does a lot. Shouldn't, uh, so I should save the gun then for, like, bosses, assuming that there's... I mean, this. I feel like this seems like a game where there would be, like, a boss, right? Like, like you would fight enemies as you go, but there would be, like, one boss at the end of the game or something. Yeah? Oops. Alright, I deserve that one. God damn it, I can't fucking strafe to save my life in this game. Nope, not breaking that. I got a brazier up there that I can't quite reach. Well, actually, can I just jump? I can't. Alright. I keep forgetting that jumping is a thing because, like, most games like that is like, hey, there's the roof. That's what I was hoping for. And I did not have to jump, actually. Drawers on the wall that we can't interact with. Another one there. Nope, that 
wasn't all of them, but that's fine. We have another area over here. There we go, that one did it. Should I heal up? I don't know. I might. Wait, the heal is instant, so... Okay. Thankfully, I'm like fucking fast as fuck, so that's not that bad of a trap. Oh, game has been saved. So we got a moon, we got a sun, another moon, and another sun. So one of those needs to be lit while the other one does not, or while the other one shouldn't be, then. My guess, in order to advance. Got those crystals in the wall, but they don't really show anything there. Okay, let's go back and through this other door. Okay. No strafing those guys then. Just back up. Gotcha. Got oh, more rubies. Might get enough for that and the old map. It's like the health potion. I mean, well, we still got three. We're not taking that much damage. And I doubt that there's going to be a huge amount of enemy types here. Let's see, is there any clues to. There doesn't seem to be any clues. There doesn't seem to be any interactable things in here. Okay then. Here, no. There, no. Down there, no. Alright, well, let's light that one. I mean, that's the sun, right? So the sun should be bright and the moon should be dark. Yeah, alright. Very basic puzzle. Aha! Yeah, more rubies. Okay. What do you got next? You got razors. Another door. That's got to be the crystal, right there. Oh, got dead. Good. Man, it's really weird what they, like, how they determine. It's like, oh, this is breakable, but this, that looks almost the same. Nah, it's not. Oh, hidden puzzle. Stone mask. That's actually weird, because I do believe that thing I read said there's only stone mass in dungeons 2 through 6, so this is actually not dungeon 1, apparently. Which is interesting, to say the least. The drawing resembles the plan of a room. Okay. Now, are you going to be nice and throw that in my journal? No. All right, so I need to go and look back at the room. Oh, and then that shows you that the stone mask is there so that you can try and figure out how to get to it. Okay. But what's considered the front? Oh, okay, I see, never mind, because yeah, gotcha. So it's that one, that one, and this one, right? Me paying attention. And hey, we got a stone mask out of it, so boosh. Activate. Burst crystal. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I explored it all. Took all the side rooms. Now we've also got a bunch of rubies, so, or rubies, not rupees. Uh, I imagine that there is more rubies than stuff there is to buy then, because I'm assuming that when you talk to the left one, apparently, that those health potions are infinite that he sells you. 
but no, maybe not, though, because, like, if the health potions were infinite, then they would have to make it where you have a way to get all of the ruby, or, like, if, like, if all infinite rubies. Buy that, buy that, old map, uh, okay. I know where that is, but obviously without a shovel, I feel like it's pretty worthless. Okay, so that we knocked over. Okay. So we got the magic beans now. We need to go out the other gate. Yeah, I don't know how I would think that that fucking thing is the same. This was the same tree. Like, there's no way. Oh, also, we got the, the terrace key. Oh, we got that. I completely spaced on that for a second. Boosh. Yeah, it, it gives you no indication that you're using the key. I mean, besides... It, so, like, unless you went up to the door beforehand and it's like, oh, you don't have this key. You would have no idea that that's what you need. Also, we need to go check the painting. To see if it has a clue as to those spinny statue things. Because there's way too many for me to just go through the combination. It's possible, but obviously, but brute force it. But I'd rather not. Blue flower and forest berries for a health function. Alright, well. Another rupee and some bullets. Bully bullies. Just gonna save up all my bullets, and when we hit the final boss, I'm just gonna unload all of them. Okay, so we'll go and make a health potion, because we have both of those. We don't need the health potion specifically, but uh, we do need to make one for the achievements. Okay. Uh, no, it actually does not show those in the slightest. Okay. So there's two more potions to make. Uh, and if you're wondering, yes, I am just going to continue this into next week. Because I may have bought an Xbox. Like a Series X. It, I, and I say may have because everything I looked at said they were sold out. But then, like, I went... I was just, like, I went to see how much the Mass Effect legendary thing, the new one that came out, was. 80 bucks, by the way. Which is normal for a new game. Although technically it's 80 bucks for three games, so I mean, take that for what you will. Uh, this way, right? Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it had a thing on there. It's like, oh, you like to buy a new Xbox. And I was like, or I was like, uh, the Xbox shop and it said like consoles and I was like, all right, well, let's, let's look. And then it's like, oh, do you like to buy a Series X? And I was like, Okay, so I, I went through the whole thing, it said I bought it, so... Nothing happened, you decided to dig up magic beans. Alright, so... We planted the magic beans, they did nothing, and we just immediately took them away. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so we need to get around there somehow. I'm going to assume that I can't, or at least that I'm not supposed to. jump my way up here. Yeah, they seem to have put in some kind of thing where, yeah, I don't know. They have something that is preventing me from jumping as I try that. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to be able to cut down the tree until I get over there somehow. The magic beans did not work where I thought they would go. How long have we been going? 45 minutes. Man, I feel like we've done a lot in 45 minutes. Now, it could just be that this game is, like, really easy, but... Also, the thing that's buried should be, like, over here, right? Somewhere, right? In the map, I think. Like, that's the... That's the whole, or it might be on the other side. No, it's there. Between the house and that, there should be a tree. Yeah, there's the house. There's that. Although, this may be a different area entirely, because there's a bunch of cabbages planted there, which is obviously not the case here, so. Oh, well, actually, wait, give me a second, let me go on the other side of the road. Oh, and no, no cabbages, alright. 
Oh, there you go. Though we got a, a sword we can cut through these. Uh, blue flower and wood mushroom. So the wood mushroom must go to one of the other potions. Uh, let's see. Something up there though, but I just don't remember picking up. Um, yeah, I am curious as to like if there's gonna if there would be like enough of those blocks to fill in all of these holes, and if there would be if that would actually make a difference. But anyway, I'm also curious as to like it's like we didn't miss a dungeon or anything, right? I'm pretty sure we didn't. No. All right, advancing then. Back out this way. Okay, so that's actually the way we came from. So that actually isn't the first dungeon that we came across, right? The first dungeon we came across should be. No, this was the first dungeon we came across, and this is the one we did. Right? Go through the loading screen, it's going to be the same dungeon. Yeah, because everything's lit already. Good, alright. Good, I was hoping that was the one we did. Although, to be fair, loading into the dungeon isn't bad for a loading screen. Going back to the open world is absolutely horrible. Um, but yeah, we need a shovel. Got a shovel, we could get the rest of those things and potentially find our old map, whatever it leads to, but. To be fair, I'm assuming that it's going to be like the Leprechaun, where you even if you knew where it was, you wouldn't be able to get it. But now that we have the old map, it'll just be like a location that'll like light up on the ground. It's like, hey, would you like to interact here? Oh, I don't want to go back to the rabbit. Um, and like we'll have the option. I do have to keep in mind that I can jump and look for areas that I can jump up to. Although my jump isn't all that great, so... That is one that I already did. Good, good. All right. Go through here, looking. All these maps. Looking for uh, another dungeon to do. I don't know that a shovel will be in the dungeon. In fact, based on what we've done so far, I'd have to actually assume that it isn't. Uh, but I'm not getting through there. But this is one of the dungeons. Obviously, I'm assuming that I, I'm gonna get in there through that with the rope, but I don't have. Uh, I don't have any trees I can cut down. So over here we have this. Ooh, but we never went this way though, did we? Never went around. Oh well, yes we did. We went in there, which didn't really have a whole lot. Uh, and then over here should just be the cliff overlooking the rabbit hole. Correct. Yes. Good. Okay, and then all we have left is the dig spots in this, so we must have to. Yeah, and then that does not. Okay. Hmm. Huh. See any clues here? I mean, once again, if this is a thing, I feel like it would definitely be one of these pages, right? The square. Um, yeah, I don't know. None of these really like stand out to me as to like what could be a clue, you know? All we got really is the magic beans can grow up to several meters in seconds. I mean, need a shovel to dig. I don't have the only other tree that we can cut down that we know of. We can't reach. Uh, we can't jump down the well until we get a rope. Uh, we have not. come across anything that would in like anywhere that had a rope that we might be able to get to. Um, what is 
this way. Oh, is this another? No, this is the right. That's the health shrine. Up here we have this place. We need the explosive potion to bust through that wall. Owls here, which I believe that there might be dungeon nearby. So we even have this table here, but we obviously don't have the recipe for it. It's a little bit behind it, but not enough to really figure out what's there. We have this path that leads to nowhere. It just had a flower in it. Got that path that leads in through that path that leads in through. Am I stuck? Because I mean, I went through all the paths that we have unlocked, right? So like, go this way, we got that health shrine on our left and nothing else. Got, no, that's a dead end. Dead end. That way up there is the dungeon we did. And past it, grab it. Okay, let's go this way. And see, because I actually, come to think of it, I think there might have been Yes, here we go. I was like, there might have been another place we could go over here that I ignored. So this might be another dungeon. It does say that they're all underground. Why you would bury navigation crystals underground, I don't know. What is this? Oh, there's a cave mushroom. Yeah, more monies! Okay. Here. And this. Yeah, there's at least one slime thing over there, and then this was just back towards the entrance. Good. Good, good. Actually, you know what? I want to just double check to make sure. Yes. Good. Just want to make sure, because I mean, sometimes in games like this, everything starts, or like some of the stuff looks fairly similar. Right, just back up. And there we go. Piece of piss for these guys. More money. Always good. I wonder if there's going to be anything in those at any point. Oh, there's the shovel. Oh yeah, shovel. Okay. Got the shovel. It doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. So that's all this cave was for. Okay, so that would make sense that the navigation crystals would be in like the actual man-made structures and not just buried in a cave somewhere. Considering that it's not like they're just a crystal, you know, like it's a whole contraption thing. So we got our shovel. We'll go, we'll dig up what we have. We don't know where that uh that map thing is. I don't think we've been to that location yet. Uh but we need three more of the green statues, I guess. And we also need a way across this. I'm going to assume that it isn't just go across. Like, I'm guessing that if I try and just go across that I won't be able to go and I'll take damage. Like, it won't just be like, if I have enough health and potions, I can just run my way across and take all the hits. I'm assuming that that would just straight up kill me. Okay, so we need to go... So yeah, there's no place to dig up over here, right? So it's all, yeah, it should all be back the other way. Oh, stupid rabbit. Okay. I do like this game so far. I mean, I've been played it for only an hour. I like this game so far based on the assumption that it is only going to be like a two to four hour game. 
Um, I highly doubt that it will be longer than that. If it is longer than that, I highly doubt that it will be much longer than that. Okay, so we, there we go. Pick up this one. Green statuette. This way. I don't remember if there's a dead spot over here. I'm really hoping that... See, and that's another thing, right? Since, like... If everything is finite, that means that the enemies would also have to be. Uh, so I'm fine with it. The enemies respawn, even with how easy they are, I feel like I would definitely... Just because they're not hard enemies, they're just annoying enemies. Uh, so even if like they don't really do all that much damage to you, they could there's still a chance that they'll damage you. And if, like I said, you know, like there's only going to be so many flowers in that. Now, granted, if the enemies respawned, odds are the flowers in that would respawn, but then you just get stuck in this awful loop of having to fucking go around and pick the flowers from all the locations that you know they are, and even then, a lot of them would have enemies, so I'm glad they did do that. But yeah, it's a very fun little relaxing game here. Uh, so far, puzzle maybe. And I, the only reason I said it was a puzzle game really is like in the trailer that I watched for it, they kind of indicated, hey, puzzles, like solve puzzles. So far, there hasn't been too much of that. Where the hell was the last dead spot? I'm pretty sure that we found three of them. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Because I don't have that one, right? No. Come on, where was the dead spot? Where... Where was it? Oh, I mean, it's obviously not going to be in here. Um, it wasn't in here, was it? Oh, yeah, there it was. Okay. That makes sense. I was gonna say there's no way that it's like further away from the gate than that. Boosh. Yeah, it opened up this. This just looks like a dungeon, which leads me to believe that we need the shovel for something else, or the axe, but I don't know where else we can go with any of this, you know. I guess there could be something else we need in here. We'll do this and then end the part, I think. If I drop down, I'm down, so we don't see any other way. Dead guys, some jars, a lever. It's purple glow. Oh, I was going to say, do I trust going through that? But Ah, oh, I just got to hold my breath. Poison, and then this shortcut, I guess, right? Yeah, because that was the first gate I came across. It's a shortcut back to the entrance. In case you need to come back in here. Oh, hello. Ugh, I don't know if I trust my guy's jumping skills enough for this. Hey, he made it. Good job, buddy. Good job. Should keep my eyes open. Okay, we've been there already. I don't know how much this game will have for, like, secrets, you know? What is this? A valve. Okay, I'm assuming that has to do in this dungeon, because we have not come across. Yes, I'm going to assume that that has to do with this dungeon, and more specifically, this part right here. See, now, if that's what they call a puzzle, it's like, oh man, I can't advance. Oh, there's this thing here. Oh, no, it's missing a piece. Oh, it's right there. Like, is that is that a puzzle? I mean, I feel like it isn't, and I feel like the developers don't call it a puzzle, but I also feel like a lot of people would call it a puzzle just to say, man, look at how shitty their puzzles are. You know? Because I feel like that happens a lot, where it's like, oh, here's the puzzle, and it's like, but it's not. 
Because, like, my strikes stun it sometimes. Another ruby, another health potion. I have to assume that that's the same thing in the chest. Like, if I came in here with more health, that it wouldn't have been two rubies. I'm going with anyway. Oh, game save there, but... Oh, hello. Yeah, I think I can knock it out of its spit animation. If I just, like, smack it in the mouth. Ow. Shouldn't have connected. I don't know, we need another valve. But I assume we'll be through that door. Behind that enemy. For some reason, something about this is, like, making me think of Oblivion, which obviously makes no sense. Like, Oblivion definitely looked better than this. I mean, it didn't look great compared to what we have now, I guess. It came out, it looked bad. Well, no, you know what? In all honesty, even when Oblivion came out, it didn't look great. Uh, another one of these things. Ow. Ow. Still keeping my eye out, because until we find a stone mask, like, I don't know that there's a stone mask in here, but if we found one, I'd be satisfied. And I would have to look, although I'd still have to look around for, like, chests in that, in case I needed more rubies, right? Oh, goody, I get to jump the acid pools. Now, the question is, is if I fall in this... Do I just die? Do I just take a bunch of damage? What? Oh, okay, I just take damage. Aha! And stone mask. I feel like, I don't know, the jumping feels weird to me. Like, like not necessarily bad, like, it just seems like the jump is very much determined by where you are, and not, like, I feel like your jump isn't consistent. No, but that's fine. Oh. That opened up there. Now this is either a really long secret or this is gonna take us to the valve. Felt like those were Oh my lord, what are you? Zero damage. All I did was back. Although I am missing a bunch of health, but I did take a little dip in the acid. But oh my, you are huge. But really easy, just like the little dudes. So, oh, you know, whatever. Oh, they definitely expected you to shoot that guy. May not have been a bad idea, but just to like test out his health. But it's weird that they had those for that. Because I feel like the stone masks are supposed to be secrets in here, which is why, like, you need to look for those to get them, you know, but... Um... But hey, we got our stone mask. As far as I'm aware, there isn't more than one in any dungeon, but, you know, I, I just looked and, like, I think it said that they were in, like, dungeons 2 to 6 plus some uh, other one. Or plus like in the overworld, which we've already found a few of those before. How many stone masks we got? We got four out of ten. Which is pretty good, I think, for one part. We got almost half of them. Granted, we did only accomplish two dungeons. Oh, that'll 
weaver there. Um, oh, that looks like an exit, though. Okay, so if that's an exit, we're going to go through the lever, because I am going to assume that the navigation crystal is past the lever, and then we just won't warp to the exit. Oh, it, what? Rusted and defies. Defies what? Okay, so clearly we need another rust potion, but to do that we need another witch potion. So I have to assume that through here is going to be what we need to do that? Maybe? I don't know. But I know I think we've gone over an hour with that dungeon. We sure did, but I'm having fun. I like this game. So we'll see if we can quickly finish this dungeon, assuming whatever is through this gate will do it. Because uh, we do need another witch mushroom, which we do not have. We had to use the other one because we needed the rabbit trap from there to do everything to get to this point. So, Oh, this will be the other side. Maybe, yeah, there's the witch mushroom. What? Oh, hello. all the only reason why they actually get me okay so we got that now I have to assume that they're going to give us ah yes here's the other tree then now this should be the first tree that we found right probably looks like it wood mushroom heal up okay so that there we'll need to hold our breath to get through I don't know if we'll have enough to do it so we'll leave it for now and this here looks like a bunch of puzzles that we can do to get all of the shields back in the hole you know one of these times there'll be something in there okay but anyway like I said we need to finish this dungeon stop so pop up here cross so that we can get to our get to our lab it annoys me that the magic beans didn't work in that soil. I was like, aha, we got them. But then the game was like, aha, and, you know. So yeah, we should be able... There wasn't another... Ah, uh, there was one, though. I wouldn't have had to reload everything. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. Anti-rust. So I'm assuming that there's going to be exactly enough of those witch mushrooms in order to make all of the, uh... Once again, assuming that there's limited amounts of everything, I should be able to just make health potions willy-nilly, right? Like, even if I don't need them, because I am picking up quite a few for the amount of damage I'm taking. Um, which is, in all honesty, less damage than I thought I would take in this game. Just based off, like, the way they have the combat, where it's like the... Where it's like Skyrim combat, but or Elder Scrolls combat, you know, first person melee generally doesn't do well. Um, but the enemy, mainly it doesn't do well because the enemies are usually like not necessarily built for it, you know? It's like that may sound weird, like why would they build the enemies specifically to make you able to kill them? But I mean, that's really what they do. Also, is this? It is. I know where it's well, maybe not. Maybe I don't know what that is. I need to stop exploring. I keep going off to explore, but we're over an hour already. I mean, it just shows how much I like this game so far. I just want to keep going. I really do. I, I do just want to keep going. I'm not going to, though. I have other stuff to do, and it's already... Oof. It's already 5 o'clock. Yeah, I way past when I should have probably been done recording. Alright. Remove the rust. Oh, okay, well, the lever does look different. I still don't know if the, the trap door that we opened looks different, but the lever definitely does. Activate. Okay. 
didn't even ask me if I wanted to leave this time. Maybe I have to interact with it again when we leave. Or maybe it just knows that maybe with this dungeon it doesn't because it's not just hey leave. There's you have two exits. But anyway, yeah, that'll be it for this part then. Uh, I'm actually really fucking enjoying this game. I'm looking forward to finishing it. So maybe for at least right now, the plans for this series while Valhalla is still going is to uh just to get through some of like the really quick games that I have, or the games I think should be really quick, or according to the internet are really quick to get through. Like we did Never Out in two parts this year. We've done two dungeons, but we also have a bunch of this uh, other stuff. So I, I'm, it might be three more parts. I don't know. But yeah, that'll be it for this part. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time for more.